Well, hello there and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth McCoy, your host, as you know. And today I'm here with the big bad boy of electric vehicles. Really shouldn't say that because it's not so bad. It's actually quite civilized. And that's kind of going to be the theme, I think, of this show is that this Hummer EV, this is the 2025 Hummer EV, the SUV version, and the 3X, 3X meaning that it has three motors. And it's also the Omega edition. So it's a special edition of the Hummer EV with some more toys and package goodies to bump the price up and just to make you feel good. So before I get going on this uh, video review, I'd, I've always want to thank the OEM, in this case, General Motors Corporation, GMC, for allowing me the use of this press vehicle for a week that has been a blast to drive around in. And as you folks know, or, or if this is your first time watching in, my reviews are fairly simple. I drive them around all week. I do my usual stuff. Um, I don't, you know, take it to test tracks and do, you know, slaloms and all this kind of stuff. I just put it through regular everyday consumer use as I, as I live my life and, and do go about my business. Now, this week was really handy because they're getting some home renovations done and having a, a vehicle like this that has some payload capacity, even though it's the SUV version, came in really handy as I could pick up some supplies and stuff like that from home depots and, and, and uh, you know the home improvement stores. So this has been a really fun week of uh, driving this around and putting it to the test of everyday stuff. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the show. I know. So continuing on with the Hummer uh, review episode, I'm always stoked to meet my friend Mark Elger. How are you, Mark? Great to see you, Ken. You too. Good to see you. Mark's been you know, instrumental of always, you know, when I check up on this product and he's telling me how things are going and what it's all about. I think the last time was in February at the car show. You're right, exactly right. And yeah. now we're in September, we're getting summer weather, this is perfect. So I figured I'll come out yeah. to Mark's neck of the woods here in the GTA and with this Hummer uh, EV that I have and get him just to talk about it. You know, why is this product exciting for consumers and what have you done to make this special? This is kind of what I wanted to bring you in on because, you know, right. I'll go through stats and all that stuff as my viewers know, but you've got that unique perspective. Yeah. So what yeah. do you think? So first of all, they gave me this um, Omega edition, which I think is fabulous with this blue paint. So um, it's a special edition in the 3X only, my understanding. Exactly right. right. The three motor. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, 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 the Hummer Omega is a top of the line Hummer, yeah. and the Hummer EV is the first EV from the GMC brand. Mm -hmm. And what a spectacular debut it's been. Um, as you right. know from yeah. driving it, it mm -hmm. is the world's most outrageously capable <laughs> EV. Um, it's got a wide performance envelope, and it includes everything from our Watts to Freedom launch control mode that allows you to go from zero to 60 miles an hour in three seconds. I know. It includes our extract mode, which gives you six inches of lift mm -hmm. in the air ride suspension, which is great for off-road. And it gives you our famous crab walk feature, which enables four-wheel steer to allow you to drive diagonally in the vehicle. So yeah. it's a vehicle that turns heads, has got unmatched capability, and is a ton of fun to drive. And Mark showed me how to engage crab walk, so I will be showing you that on cam. Uh, I'll take a little video of that after, but plus I have the corporate B-roll stuff to throw up. So. I mean, I've been driving this now for a few days. It's been a blast. I mean, you know, the highlights for me, the range is exceeding my expectations. I mean, right, right. easily well over 500 kilometers in this a vehicle that weighs almost 8,900 pounds. Um, and it's a very comfortable vehicle. Everybody that gets in go, they, they're, look, they're thinking it's gonna be this bounce, this really hard, you know, four by four pickup truck kind of yeah. experience. But mm -hmm. they get in and go, this is really civilized. This is very nice. So. You've, you've obviously put in civility into this outrageously fun vehicle, right? Right, yeah. and that's part of the GMC brand attributes. As a, as a premium truck and SUV brand, we always engineer in comfort and luxury and refinement. Mm -hmm. It is a great interior. And the Hummer is really a, a technology incubator, a platform, if you will, for the GMC brand. And you talked about the range. It is impressive. It's as advertised or better, mm -hmm. real world range. Yep. And a lot of the legendary performance that you've seen in the Hummer, we're going to take the hardware that's behind that like the battery pack technology, the electric drive units, uh, the adaptive suspension for air ride, mm -hmm. the four wheel steer crab walk, and we'll bring that to the rest of the GMC portfolio as we expand our EV footprint. So nice. you're gonna see that technology appear on the Sierra Denali EV mm -hmm. that's coming to Canada later this fall. So um, it's a really important technology flagship for the brand to build the EV footprint. Yeah. I mean, you know, what's impressive on this, as I mentioned the range, I mean, you know, 830 horsepower with, this is the 3X, the tri-motor version, one motor up front, two in the back. Right. 11,500 foot-pounds of torque. That's not a zero misplacement. That is actually what it is. You know, and you need a lot of that jet-like experience, you know, torque to get this thing moving at almost that 9,000 pounds. 
what's that, four and a half tons if I got my Yeah, numbers? pretty close. I mean, that's good math. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's a lot, folks. Yeah. And, you know, and it, it feels very fast. You mentioned the three and a half second, you know, three plus second. Yeah. Uh, 12, 12, uh, just low 12 quarter miles from what I've seen already or around 12 second. A very capable, again, yet driving around town with the rear steering, with the rear wheel steering, mm -hmm. uh, I, I found it much more agile than I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. So another pleasant factor in that. Yeah. It's a simple vehicle to drive and the technology is robust and layered, but easy to use. Mm -hmm. Like everything is basically a button press. So crab walk, you press the button. Super cruise, you press the button. Uh, it's very, very easy, customer friendly technology. It's safe, it's smooth, and it's seamless. Absolutely. Now the, the, the SUV version of this, there's two versions. There's the pickup truck, which is SUT, yeah. and the V version, the sport utility vehicle. Yeah. Um, this has a 170 kilowatt hour um, battery pack. It's 20 modules, double stacked. I take it the pickup truck has two more rows of modules, you get up, so it's slightly bigger, exactly. is that correct? Which yeah. gives you up to the 24 pack. Yeah. That 24 pack, so yeah. that's a, what, 180? What's, you know, little the more than that. that? A little more? Little, yeah, a little north of that. A little yeah. north of 180-ish yeah. kilowatts, uh, yeah. kilowatt hour storage. But 170 is, is, a, is a lot, and again, you're getting that in this heavy vehicle, you're getting the range. I mean, again, it just blows me away on this. Um, one good thing I like about this, and somebody pointed it out, that there's, there's a little Easter eggs, you know, there's oh, yeah. the, the US flag thing over here, right. um, because these are built at Factory Zero. Correct, right? in Detroit. Down, down yeah. in Detroit, uh, yeah. Ham, Hamtramck? Hamtramck. The, Hamtramck, yeah. I, I always stumble over that <laughs> word, I don't know. I want to say hamster, I don't know, but Detroit Hamtramck factory. <laughs> Um, and uh, doing quite well because I've seen these on the road. So you know I'll be talking about pricing and stuff later on, but sure. certainly not for the lighthearted when it comes to the pocketbook. But but for what you get in in needing a vehicle of this kind, yeah, um, you get a lot of stuff. I mean now this one, uh, just going back to to the uh, what I found differentiated on this is that this is built on a unique structure, right? It's an independent body with an in, and battery structures to support that that um, double stack battery in the in the Ultim. Can you talk about that a little bit more? Yeah, the, yeah, the engineers have done an amazing job packaging the big battery pack and the mm -hmm. driving units together. So a lot of what makes this vehicle so spectacular, you don't see, but right. you're sitting on it. Right. And the battery pack is so, so rigid and such great structure that it's actually part of the frame of the vehicle. So it's not a, quotes, full frame ladder right. truck design. Right. The battery pack is is really part of the architecture and, and the framing of the vehicle. They give it structure, mm -hmm. rigidity, mm -hmm. and incredible handling. It yeah. does, and you know, it handles quite well. I mean, even, this does have yeah. a, a, the um, extreme off-road package, mm -hmm. which comes with those bigger tires, as you're seeing, uh, the 35-inch mud tires. Um, Four-wheel steer, of course, is part of this. Uh, that steering, by the way, the turning circle is about 35 feet. Right. That's pretty small when you think about something that that is this long. Um, you mentioned crab walk. It's got the adaptive air suspension, so mm -hmm. different modes. 13-inch uh, yep. travel, apparently, in the suspension. Yep. And recommended for up to 60% clay grades in climbing. Yeah, And 18-inch verticals. Yeah. I guess going over stuff, if I hit a curb, I probably wouldn't know it anyway. <laughs> and uh, water fording at two feet, which we used to say, why even throw that out there? But if, if you're seeing climate change, folks, and we all are, we're mm. seeing these 100-year downpour events now yeah. happen in municipalities like this, in, in civilized areas. That could be an important feature, right? Yeah, the, the, again, this is engineered for off-road use. Yeah. A lot of people will not use that, but right. it's got the approach angles, departure angles, breakover angles, and the clearance mm -hmm. that allows it to go off-road with authority, and it is impressive off-road, yeah. Mm -hmm. It got cameras for visibility. Yep, underbody well. cameras with washers, so you can mm -hmm. see where you're going. It's, You've got the it's armor and the skid sweet. stuff underneath as well. Yeah, it's full underbody armor. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's an impressively capable vehicle. Yeah. Absolutely, and you know, again, for the off-road, you can lock the front, you can lock the rear, uh, lock them both. Um, you can you can play this thing up in different modes for for multiple kinds of terrains uh, scenarios, and right. that's exactly what it's for. Towing up to about 7,500 pounds. Exactly. It's got a, With got a this class SUV, well, two inch class three a hitch. I always forget my classes, but whatever that is. You can plug the pins in and trailer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can trailer it. That's so <laughs> yeah. wired. Payload I think is 1,500 pounds, 1,200 pounds, something like that. A little over 15, I think. Yeah. 15. Yeah. In, uh, yeah. I think it might be different in the um, in the in truck the, in the truck exactly. than the SUV. Yeah. Um, now we talked about charging just before I press the roll on this, and it's very, very uh, impressive charging features. And mm -hmm. you know, for you folks that have been following me, you, you've seen me starting to, to review more of the Altium-based platform. So with the Lyric, getting into more full-fledged re re reviews with the Blazer. Now this, I'll, fall, I'll be having the Equinox in a couple of weeks, uh, three weeks I think, and the Silverado hopefully before the year is out. 
And what I'm seeing so far is the Altium platform is living up to what it's supposed to do. It's yeah. charging quite well, it's giving you good range and efficiency in economies, and just a very solid product. And right. this, by what I see so far, is doing that. Supports up to 19.2 kilowatts for level one, level two. We were talking right. about that. I yeah. have an 11 kilowatt at home, yeah. so no problem maximizing that, but right. you can put more if you want to. Um, and fast charging up to 300. I've seen 300 and 350. 350 so is, is, is capability. Is 350, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, you if you can find an ultra fast, um, we were just trying to compare stories. Uh, yeah. Mark thinks he got it up to the 200-ish range, well over the 200 range before. Right. In, in, the in the winter time. Fast charge, yeah. in the mm -hmm. winter. So, yeah. again, for road tripping, a very capable vehicle. Now, I did read some specs about vehicle to load or that you could pull like a 240. 25 amp up to six kilowatts. Is that only in the truck version or is that in the SUV as well? Only the truck at this point. Truck, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and to your Which point, makes sense. yeah, and to your point about performance and, and charging, our goal is to always give the customers what they want, which is in the EV space, mm -hmm. you named it range and charging speed. So mm -hmm. the vehicle delivers on both range and lots of kilometers in a short time. To, to maximize convenience and you know minimize downtime. So um, we're always working to make things better for the customer, but um, the vehicle today really delivers on range and charging time. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know, I've got some video coming up, uh, so it does have the nice uh, sky panels, I think they're called, transparent yeah, sky panels. Exactly. And for the last couple of days, I've taken these off and just booted around <laughs> with my hair flying all over the place, just yeah. because I love it. I just I haven't had that experience while I still got here mm -hmm. to let there it fly around a little bit. Um, because I don't have a convertible. It's been a great experience. People are like, Man, this is cool. Got the, the, the tunes going and you know, like a Cali kind of thing going on that. That must be an extremely popular feature for people. It, it is, and it, kind of, it, it really shows you what kind of value you get for this vehicle. I mean, it's a premium price vehicle, but you get a lot for your money. It's a bit of a transformer from the standpoint that it's got supercar speed, mm -hmm. off-road capability of a monster truck, and incredible open-air driving sensation. When you take the panels out, it's almost a convertible, right? Absolutely. So yep. you're kind of getting a three-in-one off we hear from the for the Hummer, so yeah. it's uh, it's legendary capability shows through yep. in lots of different applications. And you'll right? see in some of the B-roll, you know, power frunk, of course, which you can throw. All the, that's right. where I store all the panels. It's got the cases, so the panels store easily in the frunk. Um, big enough frunk, a good size, a good size back. I mean, I've been doing some some home Reno stuff, and I've been picking up stuff at malls and all kinds of mess. And this thing's been great in helping me cart stuff home. Um, so it's got a lot of functionality there. The interior is very practical, very functional, right? Is Correct. that how you guys design that? Basically, how much of that the interior pays homage to the original Hummer? Um, quite a bit, as a yeah. matter of fact. I mean, the reason why this vehicle is so head turning is because it does have that legendary Hummer DNA styling. Yeah. Um, so the, the designer has done a great job in the exterior and the interior. The interior is clean, it's minimalist, but it's upscale. And on the inside, the two most popular features are Super Cruise, mm -hmm. which gives you the industry's first hands-free driver assistant technology. It is, again, you push a button, it's safe, it's smooth, it's seamless. Yep. Uses a lot of great technology embedded behind that button push. Mm -hmm. So you've got sensors, cameras, radar, GPS embedded. Uh, but again, all you have to do is push a button, let the vehicle drive for yep. you. It's cool, and also the screens on the interior, um, they're impressive. You know, the big infotainment center mm -hmm. screen uses the same Unreal Engine that Epic Games uses to drive oh, I Fortnite that. games. Okay. So that yeah. software engine that drives yeah. Fortnite is what we've got embedded in the screens here. So yeah. if it feels a little Fortnite-y, um, there's a resemblance there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's cool animation, great graphics. Yeah, yeah I, it's I, fun. I see the graphics. Again, it's part of the fun personality of the Definitely vehicle, fun. right? And yeah. very functional, uh, tons of storage, easy to put co my, my coffee cup holder, and yeah. tons of storage for stuff. There's no lack of storage in this thing, glove box, everything. Everything's easy to manipulate. It took me two minutes to figure out all the buttons. And HVAC, I like have its old buttons, so easy, easy to manipulate what right. you want to do on the go. Again, that's important. The three wipers is pretty neat. I didn't realize it until <laughs> I first activated Oh, there's a middle wiper there. That's right. kind of neat. Yeah. Um, just it to have cool. that. And they work really well. So uh, it works really well. Um, anything that we haven't covered in this kind of quick walkthrough of it, I mean, I'll be, I'll be you know, telling the folks my driving experience and some other. Um, some summaries on this, but anything you wanted to, to get across to, to viewers about this particular vehicle? I think just, just how important Hummer is to the GMC brand, because again, it's a technology flagship for us. Mm -hmm. It's our first EV, and again, what a debut. You're going to see a lot of this great technology on the Sierra EV coming up this fall. So okay. um, the range, the technology, the suspension and handling, you're going to see that technology come into the pickup truck. Um, so it's really important technology for us. And I think, uh, and again, what it does for the brand is the Super Cruise on this vehicle, like it is in the other GMCs, mm -hmm. is really impressive. It is. Hands-free really driver well. assistance technology. Yeah. Customers love it, and we want to make that more available. So um, we're basically using Hummer as we 
sell the vehicle itself and also to build the brand and build the EV footprint. Excellent. Well, you know, I wanted to get through most of my commentary with somebody else standing next to me on this show, so I appreciate Mark for taking the time out of his busy schedule to come out and meet with me and have these conversations, and I always learn something. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, always Ken. A pleasure. Good luck Thank with the rentals. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I, I need to keep going on those, but, but I've got some trucks here to help me, so thank you very much. Appreciate you it. You bet. My pleasure. Take care. All right, driving impressions of the Hummer EV. Um, surprisingly, uh, excellent. Just it just really kind of took me away on how easy this vehicle is to drive. Um, yeah, it's a little wider than you know a normal car. You're going to have to be cognizant of that fact. Let's roll up the window so I don't get too much wind noise here. It's warming up now, but um, it's an extremely pleasant vehicle to drive. You know, you're very quiet. The only noise you're going to hear is these mud tires. These uh, extra sticky for the mud tires. I've got it on low regeneration. There's or normal and high, or low and high. And I find that works perfect for the one pedal driving. For the range that I've been seeing, which I'll say coming up, uh, it's really good for a vehicle that weighs just under 9,000 pounds. But it's been an extremely civilized experience. And you know, I keep using that word because that's kind of what, what really blew me away about this vehicle. So yes, it's a truck, don't get me wrong, but trucks can be very civilized. The higher end spec trucks are very civil from a ride, from a handling, from a comfort perspective, from quietness. Comfort not only in the drive and the suspension when you want it to be, but also in the interior and the seats and the appointments. You know, very luxurious and very comfortable. And this is it. I mean, yeah, it's got that boxy, truckish design language going on here in the, in the interior, but it works. I mean, the Hummer's a box, so it works. It keeps with that design language. It, it, Elevates it with some you know, copper goldish kind of colors here in this particular uh, dash pattern and this interior color palette that they've chosen. Um, it works. Um, you know, the digital camera here is really nice because that big spare tire option that you have in the back does block some of the rear view. So having this digital camera is really nice. Uh, steering, there's different modes for steering. So normal, kind of off-road and aggressive, this kind of stuff. Same with, with the acceleration. I mean, again, I've left it in normal acceleration all week, and it goes. Uh, braking is great. The brakes work really well. The braking distance of, you know, from 55 or 60 to 130 feet stop, that's really good for something that weighs 9,000 pounds. And again, put it in perspective, 130 feet is really good for a car, never mind a big truck like this. So the brakes work extremely well. I've had no issues, again, in combination with the rear jam and with the regenerative braking and the, the one pedal aspect. Um, man, this thing is like so easy to stop and so easy to handle. And I've had passengers in here, tons of room for five passengers, right? There's lots of leg room, lots of height. The seats are nice and wide, so there's no issue in, in any of that stuff. Uh, you would get in this and after a couple of minutes be extremely comfortable. I mean, getting used to the height, great visibility because of that height, getting used to the width. And I've been able to park this in regular parking spots. It just took me a little finesse to figure it out after a couple of tries and then I'm there and then you're locked in. So, uh, you know, it does have some self-parking features which I haven't tried. Um, again, uh, you know, you'll see, uh, you'll see the crab walk stuff, um, you'll see the turning circle, all that kind of stuff is really, really neat. A um, little bit of a trickery, but it's just something, again, if you need to get out of a tight space, let's say you're, you're You've got the truck for pickup truck version of this, and you're you're doing you know using it for work site, uh, for job related, and you need to get in and out of a tight spot to load up or unload or something. You know stuff like crab walk and these kind of tight turning circles come in really handy in those situations. So they're not gimmicky when you need them, and uh, just you know remember that. So in conclusion, fantastic vehicle to drive. I've just it's been just so relaxing, I think, and civilized. That those are probably the two words that I can describe this. Believe it or not, for a big nine thousand pound. All electric SUV. So driving on the uh, highway here in the Hummer EV, GM of course offers their Smart Cruise technology, which is what this is. Uh, and as you can see, I'm in Smart Cruise now. Um, it's uh, telling me I'm looking the way from the road too long. It's because I have the uh, phone in front of the sensor here. This bulge in the steering wheel is the sensor, so it deactivates it when it doesn't see your face, which is a good safety thing. 
Um, but you know, Spark Cruise, you, you've seen videos on it. Um, it's a really good system, or Super Cruise, I should say. It's a really good system. Let's see if it'll activate again for me. There we go. So it gives the green light, and I'll try to put the camera down. I'm not sure why I wanted to change lanes. So I'm gonna put that on there. There we go. Now it's activated. And let's see, get up to speed. So I've got the distance set uh, from the vehicle in front of me. His vehicle, he's moving out of the lane, so the speed will pick up. We see the green light on the steering wheel indicates that Spark Cruise is active. And um, I'm just holding the phone down a little bit lower so the sensor doesn't trigger and cut it off. But it's a really good technology. It's actually something that you don't have to really grip the, reel, the wheel uh, and nudge it that often. It actually will be fairly compliant in just taking over and driving the vehicle for you. Um, you just got to be prepared as always to take over. Now, again, the thing about Spark Cruise is it's only uh, available on map roads. And so mainly uh, larger highways, so interstates and the 400 series highways here in Canada, larger highways, some of the two lane roads, highways, it may not, regional roads, it doesn't work. So it's really more for a highway, longer distance traveling. So as I put the camera up a little bit, Zoom out block in the sensor. You can see it maintains the road, the lane very well, keeps the speed uh, set at as, as I had it, and uh, you know manages the distance. It's a really nice system. It's very smooth. I think that's probably you know one of the best words to describe it. It's a very smooth system. But anyway, it's one of those systems that once you get used to, it's hard to film and drive, but once you get used to it, um, it's actually a really good system, very smooth, and GM's done a good job in that. Now, one thing that's pretty cool about the Hummer is the T-roofs. Uh, I call them T-bar roofs, but roof panels or whatever you want to call them. Uh, because you can, for a beautiful day, I'm driving in the country, I figured might as well take the panels off and enjoy a little bit of the nice temperatures and the breeze we have and a little bit of sunshine. So you can see in the front here, it's perfectly designed to hold the four panels. It comes with cases and the straps to tighten them down a little bit so they don't shift around. Then you close the front. So once we close the front, we get this look we get the look of the Hummer with the panels out. So obviously the pickup truck version uh, has a very similar aspect with these panels out. If I try to go high on it, you can see you've got this nice look, almost like the Jeep outdoors look. So something if you want to have some fun with, I figured I'll take it for a spin and see how it looks. All right, so open, uh, open roof driving. I haven't done that for quite a long time because I haven't had a convertible. That's a big, Big bird just flew over me. I love these country roads and uh, yeah, it gives you a bit of a hairdo. Have a lot of fun. Why not? It's not every day somebody, you get a Hummer with panel roofs so you can open up uh, and just experience the outdoors and just have fun with it. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Now, I hope you enjoyed all that stuff that we've been talking about with the Hummer here. And let's get the pricing because this is a halo vehicle of some sort, right? It shows really how powerful electrification could be. I think we all know that. We've seen pickup trucks now. We're seeing, we've seen earth moving vehicles for the mining industry converted to all electrics. I mean, these things can work various applications. And no surprise that taking an iconic vehicle that was the Hummer and it's, it was iconic for the wrong reasons as far as, you know, being a poster boy for bad gas mileage and, uh, you know, just uh, overconsumption and uh, op opulence, you know, to the highest level almost from that perspective. And here, 
GM has done a great job in building an electric vehicle that performs just as well, if not better, than the internal combustion version of the Hummer did, but gets great efficiency for a vehicle of its size. And I will you know, put up some numbers um, on my range and stuff, which really, if you're driving something this big, it was quite surprising for me to consistently get over 500 kilometers of range on a full charge this week, uh, just booting around normally. On all highway driving, I would say that it's about 400 kilometers at all highway because I did a couple of good cross city runs, um, just over 200 or so, and I was about half the charge. So I would say in this nice weather, four to low fours for all highway driving. It's a, it's a capable road tripping vehicle, absolutely. You know, pulling stuff, going camping, that stuff. Again, your range is gonna vary when you add more weight to it, but very, very capable. Now let's talk about pricing because again, it's a halo vehicle, it's not that cheap. Base price on this edition uh, on the um, 2024 Hummer EV 3X SUV, just over $144,000 Canadian. This has the Omega um, Edition package, which includes all kinds of stuff uh, dealing with wheels, tire pressure monitors, um, wheel locks, um, the paint, of course, uh, all kinds of stuff to do with um, suspension, including the extreme off-road package that this has, which bumps everything up, and all the side panels, the steps, all the stuff that you, you see here, uh, up to a whopping $185,000, including destination and freight. So, this isn't for the fate of heart from a price point perspective. However, as I mentioned, I've been driving this around all week. It's an extremely easy vehicle to drive. You would be you wouldn't think so because of the size, but it's actually extremely easy and capable and very comfortable. You know, driving my family around, doing stuff, uh, going, you know, going to meetings and, and appointments and stuff, it's been great. So it's a very civilized vehicle, even though it looks like uh, it can count, conquer a mountain, and it certainly can with its characteristics and specifics that it can do, power and all that stuff. So great vehicle, great job by GM. Uh, I, you know, my hat's off, uh, I wasn't really didn't really know what to expect in this vehicle because it's the first time I've actually driven it. I've been around it. You've seen me do videos, do static displays, do climbing in and out, sitting in and out. Not, but I haven't even been for a ride in it. This is the first time I've actually had some seat time in, in, in a moving Hummer vehicle. And I was just blown away. Like after five minutes of driving, when I picked it up, it's like, well, this is a great vehicle. This is comfortable. It's quiet inside. Um, good music system, very comfortable. Everything works well. Uh, from HVAC to wipers to lights to everything that you would need to focus on as a driver and to utilize each and every day work fantastic. So my hat's off again to GM. I'm going to leave it on because I didn't comb my hair today. So I'm wearing a hat day on a Saturday morning here as I try to film. But definitely a recommendation. I mean, if you're in, if you need a vehicle of this kind of capacity, um, they're both fantastic vehicles. Um, and I would certainly recommend looking at that and taking on for a test drive and seeing if that fits your budget and fits your needs. Does turn a lot of heads, absolutely turns a lot of heads. Um, just drive around, people are looking at this, you know, the big Hummer. You can't, you can't not know that it's a Hummer. It's got that distinct design language, that look, yet modern and quiet from an all electric. So great job, GM. Altium platform again shows that it's a winning platform. Excellent vehicle. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for sticking through it. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section. You can always email me. My email is coming up at the end of this. Uh, in fact, it's probably right here right now. I'm also on Twitter eh, or X, whatever. I don't know. I'm losing faith in Elon. I'm sorry. He's just getting too crazy for my goodness. So I don't know how much longer I'll stay on X. I don't know how useful that platform is for me anymore. But for now, I'm still there. Email is the best way, though, if you have other questions or want to reach out to me. We can always have a chat. So thank you very much for tuning in again to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. And again, thanks to General Motors for the use of this press vehicle. Hope everybody stays well. Until the next time, I will see you when I see you. Take care and bye-bye.